As for the inconvenience and blah, 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 blah. Meet them here at Adina's office. They'll be ready soon enough. All right. You might have time to go by the medical center if you want to check on progress over there. Good. Thanks. I might do that. I will do that. You go on ahead. I'll head up to Adina's office. One of my men can show you the way. You? I'm just a tourist today. I'll try not to get in any trouble. Commander, we've got a situation in the embassy quarters. We could use your help. Hmm. I'll be right there. The other half of my job. <laughs> I'll see you around, Shepard. Their job sucks. No man. doubt. But I bet the pay's nice. All oh, right, so we're on the Citadel. That is the facing, or whatever it is, that one gun. But you're on the Normandy, right? I saw it dock. Was last seen on Earth. Did Commander Shepard escape? He did, didn't he? So why would he be here unless he's seeing the Council? Ma'am, I can't talk about that. You don't have to. Commander Shepard! Hey, what's up? Hot, 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 hot. What's going on here? Commander, Hot. just who I was looking for. Hot. Diana Allers, Alliance News Network. I think we can help Hot. each other. I suppose you wanted an interview. And <laughs> even more better. More than that. I'm a military reporter with a show called Battle Space. We're carried on just about all council planets. My producers want me embedded on a human ship, and I want that ship to be the Normandy. Why would I want that? Wars can be won or lost in the editing room, and this war needs to be won. Hot. I've got Alliance security clearance and operate without a crew. Shut up, I'm looking you at someplace else. You get veto else. power over the segments I file. Can you handle an arrangement like that? Or do I keep looking? I'm looking. Somewhere. Can we talk? Can you just stand there and I'll just keep looking? Uh, uh, well, what? Uh, yeah, sure, let's do a trial. Tell your producers yes, for now. We'll see how it works out. Report to the ship as soon as possible. Okay. Any questions? How much gear can I bring? One foot locker. Aye, aye, Commander. Oh, she's gone. <gasps> if you guys want to see something... F Ooh, war acid acquired. If you guys want to see something funny, look up... Um, uh, gamer Poop. It has one with Mass Effect 3. You're gonna love it. <laughs> okay. Somewhere near Sup, Avina? Hello, Commander Shepard. Welcome to the Citadel. This is Docking Bay D-24. Note that due to recent events, official identification and weapons permits may be requested by CSEC personnel for routine verification. Mass conversations! Other Citadel areas. Any other important areas I should know about? Docking Bay E-24 has been repurposed into temporary housing to accommodate the recent influx of civilians to the Citadel. If you wish to contact your species' official Citadel representative, please go to Citadel Embassies. For medical needs, the Presidium offers leading-edge care at the Huerta Memorial Hospital. The Presidium Commons have been a cultural mainstay since the Council was first established at the Citadel. Routine verification! What's with the heightened security? New screening fields have been added in order to speed up processing of the security stations in each docking area. Citadel security screening technology uses highly advanced biometric authentication systems developed by the CERTA Foundation. Please note that any attempt to circumvent Citadel security measures will result in immediate incarceration. That's nice of you to say with a smile. Local features. What else is in the area? You are standing in docking area D-24. According to your biometrics file, you are cleared to access further information about this bay. This is the airlock currently assigned to the Systems Alliance ship, Normandy. If you look out the bay window, you can see one of the many magnificent vistas for which the Citadel is The waiting renowned. area. What about that room over there? The waiting area is for those who wish to speak to our new arrivals. It is located next to security processing. Okay, goodbye. That's all. Please speak with me again if you require further assistance. Okay.
So what's up? Nothing? Okay. Alright, so everyone. Uh, we're gonna take a break for today. I know you're all like, yeah! But I don't give a shit. I need a break, man. So anyway, we'll start again soon, alright? So see you soon. Alright, alright, everyone. We're back. So, yeah. We're gonna continue on in hell yeah. Uh, I think we're gonna... Um, oh, yeah. What's today's date? It is April 6th, 2012, Friday. So, today I'm uploading a number three. I was gonna upload it yesterday, but my internet decided to shit... No, 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 wait, not my internet. My, um... Please select the destination. My, uh... Yeah, Firefox died to, uh, like, commit an error when I was searching the web, and I'm like, Areas son of a bitch. Of to you are highlighted so, on the elevator menu. Anyway, yeah, we're gonna go to the Memorial Hospital One for now, since I wanna see my baby. <laughs> she got her ass beat, and I don't wanna, and I wanna see that she's alright. Now arriving at Huerta Memorial Hospital. Oh. Alright, let's see. What's there to see in this map? In this area? Number one. What's here? Welcome to Serta. Hmm. Shit, yeah. Thank you. A thousand for a fucking flower? Are you serious? That shit's fucking expensive as a motherfucker. A large and fragrant bouquet of flowers grown Thank in the cereal's hydroponic garden. Why does it cost a thousand? I'll take it. Candy assortments. A deluxe selection of chocolates. Hard candies and caramels. Warning, these sweets are suitable only for levo-amino-acid-based life forms. Okay, I'll take it. 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 Rumi, his Thank you for coming to Serta. The works of Rumi in the 13th you? century and Earth poet has been continuously imprinted since the 20th century. This edition of poems was created a few All years ago to mark the 900th anniversary of his death. Okay, I'll take it. Tear songs of plains. Advent guard poetry Serta by the famous El Cor <laughs> performance artist. Critics life. agree with that while Tar and poor striking imagery. His his verse structure suffers Serta from undisciplined laziness. And love fell. That's a lot of books. A book of free verse by Luxiv. All uh, from sales. Go I'm sorry, poet. This sharp uh, satire questions the ability of sentient races to raise above basic bloodshed. It's been a bestseller for decades. Among the multitude. A collective of verses by Walt Whiteman of 19th century Earth Poet. A percentage of the each needs of all purchase goes to life. Whiteman Foundation, a charitable organization that provides hospital care for those who can't afford it. Okay. All profits from sales. The collective go to help Alfred new Tennyson. The volume of poets of Alfred Tennyson is a newly released edition that was printed Thank in the for coming to Serta. by Oxford Press. This version highly sought after by book collectors. Okay, I'll take it. Bought everything. Be safe. Council. These galaxy-wide attacks are part of a massive bit Hey, Chakwas. Shepard, there you are. Dr. Chakwas, you're here? I'm working at an Alliance R&D lab down in Shouter Woods, coordinating closely with Admiral Hackett. I heard you escaped Earth in the Normandy, and that someone was critically injured. I came as fast as I could. We had a run-in with the Cerberus Synthetic on Mars. Ashley took the worst of it. How's she doing? Very well, all things considered. I'm impressed with Lieutenant Commander Williams' resilience, as well as Dr. Michelle's expertise. I wish I could have been there to help on Mars. Where the fuck have you been? <laughs> what have you been up to? It's been six months, Doctor. How have you been? Good. I've been fortunate. When they impounded Normandy, the Alliance didn't really know what to do with me. I was never officially part of Cerberus, and I'd gotten a proper leave of absence from my previous post. So you hadn't technically done anything wrong by joining me to defeat the Collectors? Yes, though I suppose if you were judged to be a war criminal, I would have been tried as an accessory. Oh, well, how nice. Well, I technically did destroy the Batarian homeworld, but... A Batarian, you know, colony, but... Yeah... I regret nothing. 
You belong on the Normandy. Your place is in Normandy's med bay, not some lab. I couldn't agree more. You say the word and I'm with you. Get the fuck on my ship already. Where were you? <laughs> the Normandy wouldn't be the same without you, Doctor. Get your things. Docking bay D-24. Yes, Commander. And thank you. Don't thank me so soon. Remember, Joker is still aboard. And I'd be surprised if he's been remembering his medication. <laughs> oh, sorry. Sorry, Joker. All right, and that should give me some, um... That should give me a war asset. Hey, I remember her. Massive Commander Shepard, good to see you. Dr. Michelle, it's been a long time. You've come a long way from that small clinic down in the wards. Because of you, I don't know where I'd be if you hadn't dealt with Fist and his dogs. Remember her? Now I met physician in a Presidium clinic. You gave me this chance. I assume you're here about Lieutenant Commander Williams? See, people bitch over the fact that, you know, not enough things went inside Mass Effect from Mass Effect 1 went to Mass Effect 3. That's bullshit. I know people are complaining about, you know, oh, the endings. I don't give a fuck. You people just don't want to think. Anyway, yeah. Uh, is she okay? She better be or else I'm gonna go ape shit and Hulk style on everybody here. How's Ashley doing? The head trauma was severe, but we reduced the swelling quickly. These Ooh, types of trauma. injury can go That's either nice. way. She hasn't regained consciousness yet, but her vitals are strong, so I'm optimistic. You can go see her if you like. She's Hot just on conversations. The Refugees. This war may leave a lot of injured people homeless. Can the Citadel clinics care for them all? We're fine now, but I'm worried. Every hospital on the Citadel is preparing for the worst. I hear the docks are tightly controlled, but we just can't leave people floating out there supplies. forever. Supplies! How are your medical supplies holding up? We're well stocked now, but I can't say I'm not worried about the future. We've posted guards on our reserves. War profiteering has already begun. Clinic staff. With a center of this size, you must have a lot of direct reports. We've got 12 full-time doctors and over 50 support staff. It can be overwhelming, quite different from my days in the wards. Okay, that's it. Keep up the good work, Doctor. You too, Commander. It's long. Fuck you. Hi, Doctor. This is a very small hospital. Didn't expect to see you again so soon. Hello. Oh, there she is. Ash, are you okay? You already got your ass beat. Ash. Hey. It's Shepard. I should have known you'd pull through. You're stubborn. Oh my god! Always were. I forget what I said about getting your ass beat. You got your ass massacred. It's be pretty bad back there on Mars. I just wanted to check in on you. See how you're doing. <laughs> it looks that way. It looks real good. <gasps> Damn, man. I've never seen an ass being that hard. Ever. <laughs> Thinking about you. Despite all this, it's good seeing you again, Ash. <laughs> Get some rest, okay? I'll come by when you're feeling better. We'll talk. You need anything, Doc. Let me know. Yeah. Okay, Ash. You take care. Is her hand inside her stomach? I can't tell. You saw that? I'll see you soon. Aww. All right, let's get the fuck out of here. Damn, that face looked messed up. With a face like that, how could you not love it? <laughs> I am such a cruel bastard. <laughs> oh, no, I don't think cruel would be sufficient. I think a son of a bitch would be nice. <laughs> oh, that was nice. I wish you could still explore. The Citadel, like it was in Mass Effect 1, but you don't, which is now sort of sad, but at least it's big. Just Hello. like my dad! Welcome to Citadel Embassies. 
The current human ambassador is Dominic Asoba. Commander Bailey is the CSEC officer on duty. You will find him in the Citadel Security District Office. Uh, Spectre Requisitions. Where's the Spectre Requisitions Office? The Spectre Requisitions District Office is down the hallway to your left. Note that requisition forms are available only to agents whose biometrics are verified and on file. Uh, local features? What else is in the area? This area is reserved for human embassy personnel and attending CSEC security. The human embassy prides itself on offering swift assistance to any who fall under its auspices. Okay. That's it. Thanks. Please speak with me again if you require further assistance. Please tell the Primacy that the Vol Protectorate wishes to assist with the Alliance project. We had a Prothean obelisk that might have helped. Uh, Sadly, no, uh, it was lost in the Shrike no. Missile. What's that word? Uh, a little uh, scavenger, scavenger game. We gotta find something. Yeah, just so you all, all know, I am going to be doing uh, everything. When I mean everything, I'm going to try to do every little tiny uh, ob objective mission to get the highest possible um, galactic readiness I can get, alright? It may be a pain in the ass for some people to watch, but bear with it since... Mass Effect doesn't uh, doesn't you know the the point of Mass Effect is doing as much as you can. That's what the point of an RPG is, and that's the basis of everything. All right. So if it puts you off, I'm sorry, but if not, but you're gonna have to deal with it, right? That's the point. Deal with it, cause that's how Mass Effect works. I'm gonna do everything. That's how I did Mass Effect One and Two. I'm gonna do everything as much as possible, so everybody knows what to do and can get the same galactic readiness as myself. All right. Back to those planets. So if you have a problem with it, I'll go. Fuck. Hello, dear. Perhaps you can help me. I'm looking for my son. But we spoke about this already during I the told fight. Told you about his mission and nonsense. I just filled out the paperwork. He's very punctual when he's on the field. He checks in every week. Only he hasn't checked in for a while now. A month. Anyway, I'd like to file an expedited contact request. Yes, of course, ma'am. But the notes on his file state he's not under a contact ban. Oh, you already looked. How kind of you. I'm just so worried. It's not like him to go quiet. Oh, so that's sad. As soon as I get news, ma'am, I'll let you know as soon as I get news. That is sad. You're such a nice young woman. You know, you remind me of my daughter-in-law. That's sad. Old lady trying to find her child. That's sad. You know he's dead. It's like no fucking shit, right? There is no anti-humanity conspiracy here, Ms. Oh, Altamani. fuck. The council's simply not granting interviews at this time. My viewers are going to know that CSEC and the Council are denying them access. Listen, lady, you think I like playing gatekeeper between the paparazzi and the politicians? I don't have time to babysit them, and I'm not here to hold your hand. Well, I'm camping out until I'm granted an audience. Fine. I hope you brought a sleeping bag. <laughs> don't mind me, I'm not here, I'm not here, I'm not Commander here. Commander Shepard? Shit. Commander Humanity has questions. Close the door now. Oh, thank God. Damn press. I see you're keeping the peace. Yeah, I feel like a glorified doorman. <laughs> Most people would see it as a move up. Wedged in here with all the stuffed shirts? I'd rather be back down on the streets. I appreciate the higher pay grade, but I'm not a political creature. <laughs> Who is? I, I hope nobody likes politics. Why take the job? If you didn't want to be upped, why'd you accept? <laughs> you don't say no to Councillor Udina. Well, maybe you would, but I gotta live here. <laughs> I know, squeaky wheel gets the oil, but I didn't lobby for a promotion like some other officers. I'm not even sure why he picked me. I never know with politicians. I hate political BS. Just say it, political bullshit. Oh, wait, right, camera's around here. Bear, bear with it. 
Don't lose your edge. You might need it. I oh, wouldn't mind an excuse to get my fingers dirty. <laughs> <laughs> it's killing me about Earth. You and me both. I haven't been back in years. Now I may never. If this ain't the end of days, it's pretty damn close. Oh, up. I'm up to my neck in trouble, but if there's anything you need, I'll do my damn. Mass conversations, damn it. The war. Is the Citadel gearing up for war? Uh, there's a false sense of security here. Even people from worlds that have gone down act like they're safe. Well, I guess it's not just human nature. We all lie to ourselves to deal with horror. <laughs> Good luck, that <laughs> Citadel. Anything important going on around here? <laughs> you kidding? With the Reapers running roughshod through the galaxy, it seemed like the Council is in constant session. We got more ambassadors and dignitaries here than ever before pleading their cases. But that's just the tip of the iceberg, really. Trouble? Thought things were relatively quiet here. Well, compared to where you're coming from, sure. But the war is being felt everywhere. Millions across the galaxy have been displaced, and most of them come here. Must have you doing somersaults. <laughs> yeah, already allocated the bulk of my men to customs, but we're still overtaxed, cataloging and processing them all. Your promotion? It was Udina who made you a commander, huh? Yeah, he's become an even bigger shot around here. Got a lot of ambition. He suspected Executor Palin was conspiring against the Council and had me investigate. Find anything incriminating? Yeah, enough to arrest him. And when Palin resisted, I was forced to kill him. Oh. Udina rewarded me with the promotion. Oh, nice. As near as I can tell, being a commander just means I'm putting out different fires. Eh, family. You got loved ones out there? Somewhere. Ex-wife I lost track of, and... And a son and daughter. They're still on Earth. Oh, I'm sorry, Bailey. Yeah, I'm just like everyone else. I'm losing myself and things I can control. And at the moment, that means creating the illusion of security here. Hmm. That's great, interesting. No time to talk then. I'm gone. We both have jobs to do, Bailey. I suggest we do them. Yep. Good talking to you, Shepard. Ah, uh, Jesus Christ. Spectres. Let's go in here. Yeah, that's the training room right over there. Uh, Spectre Terminal. God damn it! There we go. Korean Fleet Intel. Korean Pilgrim Vanden on the Citadel received a large credit transfer from the fleet. Purchased tech including high end weapon mounts and kinetic barrier emitters in several ship service centers. Hold on, hold on, I'm gonna sneeze. Ah! Oh, damn you, sneezing! On Ilium, another Corian pilgrim unidentified was observed searching for a ship traveling close to the Perseus Vale. The pilgrim was later heard saying that his pilgrimage was recalled. Data suggests that the Corian fleet is withdrawing its pilgrims and upgrading ships for combat somewhere near the Perseus Vale. This could be a reaction to the Reaper invasion, but no formal offer or request for assistance has come. Intel suggests the Corians may instead be preparing for conflict with Geth. Ah, oh, god damn it. <laughs> Ew. Nice special work positions. The Black Widow, 2,500,000. Do Son of a bitch. These two weapons I want to get Black Widow and the Paladin. Paladin is a pretty badass fucking handgun. Four shots, but fucking stronger than the. Ca uh, than the um, it's stronger than the. Um, ah, I forgot what the name is. It's C something. Carnifrax or Carnifax or something like that. Hello? Commander, Councillor Udina said you'd be coming. If you'll follow me, the council is already in session. <coughs> We've got our own problems, Councillor. Earth is not in this alone. But Earth was the first council world hit. By our reports, it faces the brunt of the attack. By your reports. No, oh, nice. 
The reports are accurate. Earth was attacked by the Reapers. Don't and it's just the now. beginning. We need your help. Everything you can spare. Each of us faces a similar situation. Even now, the Reapers are pressing on our borders. If we lend you our strength to help Earth, our own worlds will fall. We must fight this enemy together. And so we should just follow you to Earth? Even if we were to unite our fleets, do you really believe we could defeat the Reapers? Well, I don't try. expect you to follow me without a plan. Counselors, we have that plan. A blueprint, created by the Protheans during their war with the Reapers. A blueprint for what? We're still piecing it together. But it appears to be a weapon of some sort. Capable of destroying the Reapers? So it would seem. The scales. It would be a colossal undertaking. No. I forwarded the plans to Admiral Haggett. The remnants of the human fleet are already gathering resources to begin construction. Our initial calculation suggests it is very feasible to build. If we work together. Have you considered that the Reapers destroyed the Protheans? What good did this weapon do? God damn it. It was incomplete. There was a missing component, here. Something referred to only as the Catalyst. But they ran out of time before they could finish building it. Do you really believe this can stop the Reapers? Bitch, I believe in trying, unlike you. You don't want to do anything. Liara believes it can work, and so do I. And while I haven't always agreed with Adina, he's right about this. We need to stand together. Now more than ever. The Reapers won't stop at Earth. They'll destroy every organic being in the galaxy if we don't find a way to stop them. Oh my god! The cruel and unfortunate truth is that while the Reapers focus on Earth, we can prepare and regroup. We are convening a summit amongst our species. If we can manage to secure our own borders, we may once again consider aiding. I'm sorry, Commander. That is the best we can do. Not enough, bitch. Shepard, meet me in my office. I hope that's an offer of support. I'll be digging up what I can on this Prothean device, Shepard. Jesus Christ. Politicians never help. They're a bunch of self-concerned jackasses, Shepard. Amen. We may have a spot in the council, but humanity will always be considered second-rate. How can they be so blind? They're scared, and they're looking out for themselves. Our people are scared, and we are looking out for them the best we know how. Counselor? Commander, I can't give you what you need, but I can tell you how to get it. I'm listening. Primarch Fedorian called the War Summit, but we lost contact with him when the Reapers hit Palavan. Those meetings won't proceed without him. The Normandy is one of the few ships that can extract Primarch Fedorian undetected. Uh, I don't see how this helps me. Seriously. Why don't you just give me the ship? Seriously. It's that simple. Just say yes. So far, you've only explained how I can help you. Scratch my back, I'll way. scratch your back. But the leaders of this summit will be the ones deciding Ooh, our future. That. The fate of our fleets, where they fight, and with whom. A grateful Primarch would be a tremendous ally in your bid to unite us. We're at war. And you want me to play politician? If it gets you what you need, what does it matter? <laughs> I hate Our politics. latest intelligence says that the Primarch was moved to a base on Palavin's largest moon. I've done all I can to help. The rest is up to you. <sighs> politics. There is one other thing. What? The Council wanted me to tell you. We've chosen to uphold your Spectre status. Sweet! And various resources will be made available to you. Good day. Well, that went well. I think. It's a start. I'll talk to the others in the meantime. See if we can support this summit. Move things along. Thanks. Right, let's talk with you, asshole. Can I punch the you again? The Council. You saved their lives. And for what? Apologies that boil down to maybe later.